Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next topic under operating system, computer system structure. And that we are going to discuss two main topics, multi-programming and time-sharing environment. So here, computer system structure is nothing but how the operating system will assign a job to the CPU and what are all the tasks it needs to perform when a job is executing with the CPU. That we will discuss now. So here, operating system provides an environment within which programs are executed. One of the most important aspect of operating system is ability to multi-program. That is, it has to select and assign multiple jobs to the CPU so that the operating system has to keep the CPU always busy. But in a single program environment, if you are considering in the sense, the CPU or I.O. devices will not be busy all the time because you will assign only one job. When the job is executing with the CPU, I.O. devices will be free. When the job is executing with I.O. devices, the CPU will be free. So, either the CPU or I.O. devices will not be busy all the time in a single programming environment. So, the single user frequently has to implement the multiple programs running with the system. So, that task is done by the operating system. Because multi-programming will increase the CPU utilization by organizing the job. So, that always there will be one job assigned to the CPU and CPU will always be busy. It never sits ideal. That is the concept of multi-programming. And what is the idea of multi-programming in the sense? The operating system will keep several jobs in memory simultaneously. Generally, the main memory is too small to accommodate all the jobs. We already know, whenever we want to assign any job to the CPU in the sense, it should be in memory. But main memory is too small. So, what we will do it in the sense, keep all the jobs initially with the disk and job pool. And all the jobs in the job pool will be ready to assign to the CPU whenever CPU is free. So, whenever the CPU is free, the operating system will pick and execute one of the job from the job pool and it will be assigned to the CPU for execution. During execution, whenever that particular job has to wait for some other task, that is it has to wait for some I.O. operations or any other operations in the sense, that time the CPU will sit ideal, right? But here in multi-programming environment, what the operating system will do it in the sense, operating system simply switches to and executes another job. When the executing job needs to wait for some I.O. operations, when that job needs to wait for some I.O. operation, the CPU again switches to another job and so on. So that the operating system always selects one of the job from the job pool whenever the CPU is free. So, eventually, when the first job completes its operation, it will get back the CPU again. So, as long as at least one job needs to execute with the CPU, the CPU will never sit ideal. So, this is the idea of multi-programming. So, whenever the CPU is free, one of the job it will pick from the job pool and it will be assigned to the CPU for execution. That is the purpose of operating system in a multi-programming environment. So, here always there will be one job assigned to the CPU. So, CPU will always be busy. It will increase the CPU utilization. And the main advantage of multi-programming is better system resource utilization. Even I.O. devices also utilized efficiently and CPU is also utilized efficiently. And disadvantages if you are considering in the sense, in the multi-programming environment, all these tasks will be done by the operating system. Here, user cannot interact with the system. That is the main disadvantage in multi-programming environment. And this is overcome by time-sharing environment. This time-sharing is a logical extension of multi-programming. It is otherwise called multitasking. Here, CPU executes multiple jobs by switching among them. As like multi-programming environment, CPU will execute multiple jobs, okay, by switching among them. But the switches occur so frequently because here, the user can interact with each program during execution. That is the advantage. So, the time sharing environment requires an interactive computer system which provides direct communication between user and the system. Here, the user will give instructions to the operating system or to the program directly using any input devices like keyboard, mouse, touchpad or touchscreen and waits for the immediate result on output devices. So, if you are considering here in the sense, the switch between the process happens very fast. So, that each user will have an impression that the complete system is dedicated to that particular job only. So, the response time will be very short, typically less than one second. So, this is nothing but time sharing environment. This is 
the main difference between multi programming and time sharing is in, in multi programming user interaction is nil but in time sharing environment user can interact with the operating system or program directly that is the main advantage and in time sharing environment the operating system allows many user to share the computer simultaneously since each action or command in a time sharing environment will be tend to be very short that is the switch between the process happens very fast okay only a little cpu time is needed for each user and the time sharing operating system uses cpu scheduling and multi programming cpu scheduling is nothing but scheduling a job to the cpu whenever the cpu is free that is nothing but cpu scheduling and multi programming in the sense the system has the capability to execute multiple programs at a time so that it provides each user with a small portion of a time shared computer so here whenever the user wants to execute any program in the sense the user has at least one program should be stored in memory whenever the cpu is free the program must be loaded into the memory from disk it should be loaded into the memory and start its execution once the program is assigned to the cpu for execution that time we will call that program as a process when the process executes it typically executes only for a short time and when it is required for any other io operation before finishes its execution in the sense here io operation is also interactive it can switch and perform the io operation even here the io environment is also interactive so interactive io environment typically runs people speed that is it makes long time to complete if the programs which happens within the system in the sense that will take only little cpu time but when the people interact with the io devices that time it will take little long time so operating system will rapidly switch the cpu to the program for some other user when the executing program needs to perform io operation that time this switch happens and when the program executes with the cpu in a multi programming or time sharing environment in the sense the operating system has to perform certain task one is job scheduling several jobs will be kept in the job pool and that are ready to assign to cpu for execution whenever cpu is free that time one of the job from the job pool will be picked and brought to memory and then it is assigned to the cpu for execution that is called job scheduling next memory management when the operating system selects a job from the job pool it loads the job into the memory for execution having several programs in memory at the same times require memory management because we cannot able to keep all the jobs in memory since the memory space is too small to accommodate all the jobs so we will keep all the jobs in disk actually whenever it is required to execute that time only we will brought to memory so here memory management is a crucial task that is done by the operating system next is cpu scheduling if several jobs are ready to run at the same time which job should be selected and assigned to the cpu for execution that decision is taken by the operating system that is called cpu scheduling so what is the difference between job scheduling and cpu scheduling in the sense job scheduling is nothing but many jobs will be available in the disk for execution whenever a job is required to execute with the cpu which job should be selected from the job pool and kept ready in memory that is called job scheduling cpu scheduling is nothing but several jobs will be available in the memory which is ready to be assigned to the cpu here the operating system has to select a job and assign to the cpu for execution that is called cpu scheduling and finally running multiple jobs concurrently requires ability to affect one or the other in all phases of the operating system so it requires process scheduling disk storage and memory management so these are all the important task the operating system has to perform when it is executing multiple program with the cpu also in time sharing environment the operating system must ensure reasonable response time it should not take more time okay so here swapping happens that is process will be swapped in and swapped out of the main memory to the disk whenever the process is required to be assigned to the cpu in the sense it will be swapped in into the memory whenever the process is not required to be assigned to the cpu right now that is swapped out of the main memory to the disk that is called swapping and here one more important concept the operating system has to 
implement that is virtual memory it is a technique allows the execution of a process that is not completely in memory that is if you want to execute any process in the sense that should be in memory then only we can able to assign to cpu for execution but this virtual memory technique provides execution of a process that is not required to be completely in memory to ensure the response time it provides an environment for the user to run programs that are larger than the actual physical memory that is called virtual memory so here the virtual memory abstracts main memory into a large uniform array of storage and it actually separates the logical memory from the user view so this arrangement frees programmers from concern over memory storage limitations so the main advantage of virtual memory is it enables user to run programs that are larger than the actual physical memory so these are all the concepts related to computer system structure thank you for watching this video